Reverse psychology to create an unstoppable attraction. Hey there, it's Anna. Today we are venturing into the intriguing world of reverse psychology and how it can be a game changer in creating an unstoppable attraction with women. It's a subtle art requiring finesse and understanding of human psychology. In this video, we will explore how skillfully using reverse psychology can pique a woman's interest and draw her closer to you. From playful challenges to creating an air of mystery, these tactics can ignite curiosity and attraction in a way that direct approaches often can't. By the end of this video, you will have a new set of tools to captivate her attention and stand out from the crowd. As we unpack these strategies, there is an exclusive bonus tip waiting for you at the end of this video. Now, it's a crucial piece that ties all of these points together, enhancing your approach significantly. Stay tuned to discover this game-changing advice. Indirect flirting. Indirect flirting involves using subtle or ambiguous cues that leave room for interpretation, keeping her guessing about your intentions. This approach can create an air of mystery and intrigue around you, potentially heightening her interest, but not being overly flirtatious. You avoid putting too much pressure on the interaction. This can be more engaging and can pique her curiosity as she tries to figure out your level of interest. Indirect flirting can include playful teasing, light banter, or even offering compliments that are open to interpretation. When using indirect flirting, the key is to maintain a balance between showing interest and keeping a bit of distance. For example, you could playfully challenge something she says, engaging in a light-hearted debate, or give a compliment that can be seen as friendly yet intriguing. The idea is to be engaging and fun, but not to give away too much too soon. This method encourages her to engage more actively in the interaction, possibly leading to a stronger connection as she invests effort in interpreting your signals and getting to know you better. The push-pull technique. Now, this push-pull technique is a psychological strategy used in building attraction. It's about alternating between showing interest, the push, and creating distance, the pull. Now, this technique keeps the interaction dynamic and unpredictable, often heightening interest and attraction. By giving attention and then slightly withdrawing it, you create a sort of emotional tension. This can lead to a stronger desire for your attention, as the inconsistency can be intriguing and stimulating. It's important to note that this strategy should be used carefully and respectfully, ensuring it doesn't lead to confusion or negative feelings. When employing the push-pull technique, balance is key. For example, after a period of engaging conversation, the push, you might take a step back by not immediately responding to a message, the pull. Alternatively, following a heartfelt compliment, the push, you might playfully tease her, the pull. So the goal is to create this playful, engaging dynamic that encourages her to invest emotionally in the interaction. However, it's crucial to remain respectful and sensitive to her reactions, ensuring that your actions are playful and not leading to any misunderstandings or discomfort. Playing hard to get. Playing hard to get is a tactic where you don't always make yourself readily available, creating a sense of challenge and pursuit. This strategy revolves around the idea that people value what is slightly out of their reach, but not always being immediately available or responsive. You can pique a woman's curiosity and interest. It creates a scenario where she may find herself more invested in trying to capture your attention. This technique should be used judiciously as it's about creating a subtle allure, not about manipulation or causing frustration. When implementing this strategy, it's important to strike the right balance. You want to show just enough interest that keeps her engaged, but also leave some space for her to desire more interaction with you. For instance, instead of instantly replying to messages, you might wait a while before responding, or you may occasionally be busy when she suggests meeting up, suggesting an alternative time instead. The key is to maintain a level of mystery and anticipation without appearing disinterested or aloof. Remember, the goal is to intrigue and attract, not to mislead or play games with her emotions. Mystery over transparency. Choosing mystery over complete transparency can be an effective approach in building attraction. This does not mean being dishonest or secretive, rather it's about not revealing everything about yourself all at once. By holding back some details about your life, your interests and thoughts, you create an aura of mystery. 
This can make you much more intriguing and can stimulate her curiosity to know more about you. Now, a little mystery can be enticing as it leaves room for exploration and discovery in the relationship. So, to apply this technique, consider sharing information about yourself gradually, instead of all at once. For instance, you might hint at an interesting hobby or past experience, but not go into full detail immediately. Let her ask questions and express interest. This approach encourages a gradual unveiling of your personality in life, making each interaction a chance to learn something new about you. It's about striking a balance between being open and maintaining a bit of enigma that invites her to delve deeper into getting to know you. And hey, just before we move on to the next point, if you're finding value in this video, a like and comment would be greatly appreciated. Your input guides my future videos. Showing contentment with being single. Displaying contentment with being single is a reverse psychology tactic that can be surprisingly effective. It involves showing that you are happy and fulfilled in your life without a romantic partner. This is intriguing because it presents you as confident and self-sufficient, qualities that are attractive. So instead of actively seeking a relationship, you exude an aura of someone who is selective and values a meaningful connection over just being in a relationship. This can make her more inclined to pursue you, as it suggests that being with you would be a choice of quality over necessity. To implement this, focus on sharing aspects of your life that bring you joy and fulfillment outside of a relationship. Talk about your hobbies, passions, and experiences that illustrate your completeness as an individual. For example, share stories of your adventures, your goals, or things that you are passionate about. It's about portraying a life that is rich and satisfying on its own. However, it's important to strike a balance, ensuring that you don't come off as uninterested or aloof. The goal is to present yourself as someone who would welcome a relationship for the right reasons, not because you need one to be happy. Playing the long game. Playing the long game is a strategy of patience and gradual progression in building attraction. So instead of rushing to win her over, this approach involves letting the attraction develop naturally over time. It's based on the principle that a slow and steady buildup can create a stronger, more enduring connection. This method demonstrates confidence and a non-desperate demeanor, which can be very appealing. It shows that you value a deep and meaningful connection over a quick fling and and are willing to invest time in getting to know her genuinely. To effectively play the long game, focus on building a solid foundation for the relationship, engaging meaningful conversations, take time to understand her interests and values, and let the romance develop at a comfortable pace for both of you. Show that you are interested in her for who she is, not just for a romantic conquest. The key is to be present and consistent in your interactions without pushing for an immediate romantic commitment. This approach can build a sense of trust and anticipation, making the potential for a future romantic relationship more exciting and substantial. Bonus tip. While reverse psychology techniques can be effective, a bonus tip focuses on the power of authenticity in attraction. It's an essential aspect that complements and elevates the strategies discussed. Let's explore how being authentic can make your attraction efforts more genuine and impactful. Authenticity involves being true to yourself and genuine in your interactions. And when combined with the reverse psychology tactics, it ensures that your actions don't come off as manipulative or insincere. See Authenticity means expressing your true feelings and intentions in a respectful manner. It involves aligning your actions with your genuine personality and values. This approach resonates deeply as it's rooted in honesty and genuine interest. Being authentic in your pursuit creates a more profound connection as it builds trust and shows your genuine interest in her as a person, not just as part of a strategic game. Embracing authenticity and building attraction is vital, not only to enhance your personal integrity, but also it significantly strengthens the emotional connection. Authentic interactions are more likely to lead to meaningful and lasting relationships. It brings depth to your attraction strategies, making them more effective and leading to more fulfilling and enduring relationships. So now that you have mastered reverse psychology, what is next for you? Discover the things that girls do when they want or learn how to read the signs that she thinks you are good looking. Thanks for watching. Please like, comment and subscribe for more.